Now, the relationship between the Colored Farmers Alliance and the White Farmers Alliance is uh, fairly complicated. The Colored Farmers Alliance isn't just an offshoot of the White Farmers Alliance. The white farmers are not interested in organizing African Americans because most of the African Americans in the Colored Farmers Alliance are not landowners. They're tenants, they're sharecroppers, and they're farm laborers. And their interests are very different than these farm owners. I mean, they are interested in cooperatives. They are interested in paying less for goods that they need. They're interested in seeing the prices of cotton go up. But they're also interested in getting access to land to improve their circumstances as laborers. And therefore, eventually, the Colored Farmers Alliance and the White Farmers Alliance comes into conflict. And one of the points of conflict is in 1891, the Colored Farmers Alliance organizes a cotton pickers strike um, out in the um, uh, Mississippi Valley. And the uh, White Farmers Alliance rides roughshod over it because clearly this is a laborers' movement, not a property owners' movement.